everybody, welcome back to Shelf Life Extension. I'm Alexis and today is another Top 5 Wednesday video. So today's topic is Top 5 Worst Series Enders and to be honest, Surprisingly, I haven't finished a lot of series, and a lot of the series enders I'm completely okay with. So it was actually really hard for me to pick. A couple I actually don't even have the books for, but yeah, I have four books and one movie because I literally could not come up with any more. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna start off with X-Men number three, The Last Stand. Now, I've mentioned it before that I absolutely love the X-Men. If I was to be any part of the Marvel Universe, I would be a mutant like I would totally go to Xavier's school and it would be fun I would I would totally be all over that but yes so this movie was probably yeah the worst ending that they could possibly do for that series in which case if none of you are too uh, into the X-Men franchise that's why they even restarted the franchise and they didn't choose to redo this entire storyline Instead, they're doing the Days of Future Past and um, First Class, and then I, I, the next one's Apocalypse, I'm pretty sure, which I'm so excited for. But yes, obviously, there wasn't much they could really do with this, considering this is like the direction they were going anyways, obviously with X2. You see Jean starting to have all those headaches and stuff, and then you're just like, whoa, hey, something's going on, and then of course you think she dies in the second one, and then she, here she comes again, but she's coming back as kind of transforming into the Phoenix, and I just feel like they could have done it a lot better. I feel like I wanted more of Jean and more of that phoenix counterpart that would have been really cool and then overall with the whole like oh we're gonna take down the human race and we're gonna blah, 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 blah. and of course it's only the xavier school and the x and being like no we can't do this yeah it was still a good movie i still really enjoyed it but i just like it just it was such a it's just disappointing because like once it was done you're like that's done that's it are they gonna continue like how could you really continue after that so it kind of put a stall on it anyways yeah so this wasn't too pleased duh, with the way that this ended that franchise and then next i'm going to talk about horde which is the third and last book of the razorland trilogy by anna weir <sighs> i've talked about it in my uh february wrap-up video i just gosh I did not enjoy this. It got so slow and boring and it kept repeating itself. It was the same thing over and over. Nothing was really happening. And the, the climax, the huge conclusion is just like, really, that's it? Oh, why? Well, I totally didn't see that coming. But it's just like, I, I wanted it to be so much bigger and so much more, and so much more intense, but it really wasn't. And it just pisses me do not enjoy this one. And then next, I'm gonna talk about The Goddess Inheritance, which is the third and final book of the uh, Goddess Test series by Amy Carter. I really did enjoy this series because obviously I am super into myth retellings. It, it's a really interesting take on how the gods themselves legitimately work. And it's about this girl named Kate Winters who gets chosen by the gods kind of to replace Persephone in a way. And uh, so she has to obviously go through a series of tests before she can actually take up position in that spot within, you know, in Olympus and crap and stuff. And it's pretty cool. I actually really did enjoy this series, but uh, I just really didn't enjoy the ending because I hate it when certain books do this certain thing, particularly in young adult, which I will get back to when I talk about the next two books on my list. But it's just when books take this, little little thing and add it into their storylines it really pisses me off because i just don't think it belongs there yeah otherwise it it was a relatively good ending i expected it to be much more intense it wasn't that intense it was pretty cool but i was just like oh okay cool that's it <laughs> otherwise i did really enjoy the series you know if myth retellings are your thing you could i if you you probably like this so yeah, on to the next two. Now the next two I do not own. First being Mockingjay, the third and final installment to the Hunger Games trilogy. I had the entire trilogy. I'm pretty sure, like, okay, okay, I know I did. Shelby denies it, but I know I gave her Catching Fire and Mockingjay, I know I did. She's the only person I lend books out to, so I know she has them, but she has no idea where they are. You know, no big deal, because obviously that's been that's been years. Yeah, like before I left the military, I'm pretty sure I gave those to her. So 
you know, no big deal. If I feel like I want to buy them again, I totally will. But for now, I don't honestly care. But as a lot of people might agree, that ending, that ending, what the hell was that ending? Ugh. That particularly that last final scene, like, yeah, no, 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 no. In, in my opinion, it felt like it took a shit on the entire thing because it was just like, oh, but now I have to watch my children as they grow up in this world. Uh. And it's just like, whoa. I could be totally getting this wrong. This has been years. But I feel like in the end, nothing really became concluded. It was <sighs> interesting. I just didn't agree with that. And then lastly, it's going to be Breaking Dawn from Twilight because what the hell? Twilight. Like, Twilight was okay. I can understand if you like Twilight. Twilight was relatively cool. But then, and then, God damn it, Breaking Dawn. And here's where I'm going to talk about why I really don't like Breaking Dawn, Mockingjay, as well as the Goddess Inheritance. Because it all concludes with them having children. Like, one, I don't agree with teenage pregnancy whatsoever. Two, I don't think it belongs in books. Because a lot of the times, especially like with those books, like you could you could kind of claim like, oh, well they were married and oh, they were in love. No. Like that's cool. That's a cool message to send out. You know, obviously don't get pregs until you're married, you know, and committed to someone. That's fine. But it doesn't belong in young adult fiction in my opinion because there's no going forward beyond that. Oh, this is really hard for me to explain. Let's just say that teenage pregnancy is simply just a problem. One, why aren't kids smart enough that when they have sex in their teenage years to uh, go to Planned Parenthood and get some birth control? Or hey, how about using a condom? Like, what the hell? It's not that hard to not get pregnant. Just saying. So I don't like seeing teenage pregnancies within books because it just pisses me off. A lot of times it's just like, oh, they're pregnant. Well, you had sex and you didn't uh, take the precautions. So yeah, shame on you. It shouldn't be there. I don't agree with it. And I hate it when I see that in young adult fiction. I hope that made sense. I hope you could kind of see where I'm coming from. I know sometimes I just can't get it out right. That happens. That's what anxiety does to me. Like I could write it out no problem, but once I actually try and like speak it, it doesn't necessarily work. That is what really turned me off about those three books is because it's just like, oh, now there's a baby in the equation. Cool. I just don't think it belongs there. It doesn't belong there. Cut it out. Yes, it happens. Yes, it's an issue. But if you're gonna have pregnancy, teenage pregnancy within young adult literature, you better be putting it in a realistic context so that young girls and young guys who find themselves in a situation of the like can have an understanding and relate to it and kind of know what to do. You know, in all these books, it's like, oh, they're pregnant and oh, it's all beautiful and glorious. Oh, popping out children like no big deal. No. If you're gonna write about teenage pregnancy, write about it in a realistic sense. Like, holy crap, I'm pregs. I don't have the money. I don't have the education. What am I gonna do? What is my boyfriend, husband, what are they gonna do? Like, what's my family gonna do? None of that gets addressed. And I think it needs to be addressed. So, there. That's that. Those are my top five worst series enders. I hope you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from and kind of, kind of relate and see what I'm talking about. But yes, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know what you think down below of the books, the movie, or even just that issue that I brought up. That would be super great. Otherwise, I will check you guys out on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. Okay. Age group should you just...